Professor Hazel Reimer, you are the Dean of the Science Faculty. Can you start off by telling us a little bit about what that role entails? Well, being the Dean and Director of Studies means that I oversee and direct the research, the teaching, the enterprise and the partnership relationships that the Open University Science Faculty has. Now, you're a scientist yourself, so why don't you tell us a little bit about the kind of research that you do and why you're passionate about it? Well, I'm originally a physicist and I moved into the earth sciences because I was particularly interested in making measurements about how the earth works. And so this is my little pet here. This is an instrument called a gravity meter. It really doesn't look like anything very special at all. Right. But it's a very, very sensitive spring balance. And using it, I can make measurements of gravity, the acceleration of due to gravity that keeps us on the earth's surface. And surprisingly enough, if you make measurements in the same place, over and over again, um, over a large network, you can tell a lot about what's going on underneath your feet. And right. I use this thing on active volcanoes of all places. Okay. And doing that, you can work out how the magma is moving around, where it's going, whether it's fizzing or not. And fizzy magma is the stuff that erupts explosively. Yeah. And if it's not so bubbly, not so fizzy, then it's more likely to erupt gently and make lava flows. And so that, that's the sort of work that I've been doing for, for a many, many years now. But what I'm particularly interested in right now is the environmental impact of volcanic eruptions. So what I'm doing is looking at how small gravity changes that I can measure on the surface, what they tell us about the underneath of the volcano, and then linking that in with the environmental impact that the volcano is having, both locally and globally. So, I mean, you've just brought the one gravity meter along, but you have a lot of instruments, don't you? And do you need a lot of help to kind of deploy them across the volcano? Yeah. It, one person can carry one of these instruments, but of course, in order to get a lot of measurements over a lot of volcanoes, you need a lot of instruments and you need a lot, a lot of people to help you. So I use citizen scientists. Sometimes they're OU students, sometimes they're Earthwatch volunteers. Usually they are just members of the public interested in contributing to science. And we, we make measurements over periods of, of weeks or months. Um, and then over the years, we get a picture of how the gravity signal is changing an, in a particular volcano. And it's only through the use of citizen scientists contributing in this way, collecting both the gravity data and, and the other data that we have to collect at the same time um, about local conditions of, of various sorts, gas flux and temperature and all sorts of other things. It's only by using citizen scientists that we can actually get as much data as we need. One or two scientists certainly couldn't do it on their own. You, you need to engage citizens um, in, in helping us to do this. Well, you're obviously very passionate about your research. How does research at the Open University within the science faculty feed into teaching? I don't think there is any research that is going on in the science faculty that doesn't somehow or another feed in at some point or another to the teaching. That's the whole point of the research, really. We, we do it in order to tell people about it. There's, there's no point in doing your research and just keeping it in your notebook locked away somewhere. It's got to be published for the, for the scientific community, but it's also got to be disseminated to the public. Otherwise, there's no point in it at all. So our research, which we have particular expertise in, in the volcanology, as I've just been talking about, but in the broader environmental sciences and the planetary sciences and the, the biosciences, we have, we have uh, a lot of expertise in each of those areas. And the world experts who are doing this research are also writing the course materials that our students study. Now, there are actually students on campus as well. We have about 100 students on campus at any one time, and they are our full-time PhD students, and they're undertaking research mostly in the laboratories here, but sometimes they're on field work as well. So they're covering all of the areas of science that we teach. OK, so we've talked about research, we've talked about teaching. What other activities is the science faculty engaged in? As well as teaching and research, we, we have enterprise activities. So we're working with local industries and global, global uh, corporations uh, to exploit some of the research activities that we've been doing. Uh, and we also have a lot of partnerships again, with, with industries, but also with other universities. Um, and it's all about, well, it's all about diversifying income, but it's also about disseminating our knowledge and expertise. Uh, so whether this is uh, through teaching students, students in partnership with other institutions, um, 
or sharing staff between institutions, mm -hmm. all these sorts of things would count as enterprise activity, enterprise and partnership activities. So what kind of qualifications do students who study at the Open University get? Open University students can study for a certificate, a diploma, or a bachelor's degree, or a master's degree. And qualifications are in natural sciences, um, environmental sciences, and health sciences. And within each of those, there's a lot of choice about what you can study, and particularly in the natural sciences, you can study physics, chemistry, biology, earth sciences, uh, astronomy and planetary sciences, a huge range of, of different topics. Um, and the really exciting thing about science is it's a practical subject, and you have the choice of going and studying in a laboratory, hands-on in a laboratory, or out in the field, or, if you prefer, you can do the practical subject at home online. Sometimes that'll involve real-time experiments, nevertheless. So just to be clear, the degree from the Open University, the bachelor's or the master's, is exactly the same as you'd get from any other university. You just study in a slightly different way. The study that you do with the Open University is different from other universities because it is all at a distance. Now, when we say at a distance, it means that it's to your convenience. You are wherever you are to, to do your study, but we're here to support you every step of the way. You'll have your personal tutor, you'll have the staff working with the module with you, and you'll have all of the other students with you too. And you'll be talking to them through the online forums, emails, telephone, whatever. And in some cases, meeting up face to face. Thank you.